Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. Today is Christmas in July, day 23. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I am Blue, I'm a medical coder. This year for Christmas in July, I am sharing my stories of my early days as a medical coder, as well as personal stories about myself. So I hope you all enjoy the series and let us begin. Okay, so if you've ever heard me talk about attending an AHIMA national conference, you know, <laughs> you know the story of when I attended my first one in 2014, and that was at in San Diego, right? Uh, and while I was there at my hotel, I met another conference goer named Leah. She is from Italy, and we became very fast friends. And during this time, uh, I had met another lady named Darlene. Well, Leah was out visiting friends that she knew here in the US. Uh, I had attended the newcomers orientation for, it's like a, not an orientation, but it's like a party or something, like a networking thing. And I had met Darlene after this little mixer and right before they opened up the conference hall to, you know, have the, the first night opening, right? <laughs> so I had met Darlene while I was there and Darlene and I became very fast friends. So the next day I introduced two new friends to each other. So we all became this little group and we, we stayed together, we hung out together and we did so many wonderful things. And we had attended conference together uh, every year after this, except for with the, with the exception of a couple of conferences, right? but uh, we all make the pact to meet up every year. So this conference that I'm talking about in this video is the one that I went to in Baltimore, Maryland. Well, uh, Leah, unfortunately, was not able to make it that year, but she did send a one of her staff uh, in her stead. So we were charged, Darlene and I, <laughs> we were charged with taking her around and showing her the ropes of attending a conference because she had never been to a conference before. And there was so much to do <laughs> and we wanted her to be a part of the whole process. So Darlene had Darlene and I had arranged to stay at the same hotel. Um, the lady that was coming in Leah's place, um, Emanuela, she was staying at, at a different hotel than uh, Leah and I, and not Leah, but uh, Darlene and I. So uh, we ended up, Darlene and I met at the airport because we both flew in at the same time. And of course it was a nice reunion and I missed her so much because I hadn't seen her. And we had missed one conference together up until that point. And so uh, I was excited to see her and we knew we were gonna meet up with Emanuela the next day. So uh, Darlene and I went to this restaurant that's right down the street from our hotel and we had lunch and everything and we got we were getting to talking about catching up and what was going on and what we wanted to do <laughs> for this conference. So uh, Emanuela staying at the other hotel, we met up the next day at the conference uh, center, right? And that was how we all met up. Well, because Leah couldn't attend this conference, we decided to do something fun for her. So every year at these uh, conferences, they have the exhibit hall and the exhibit hall is filled with vendors and these vendors have some of the best swag ever <laughs> you want to talk about every trinket and gadget you can possibly get your hands on it is there in this conference hall right so i like to collect the tiny bears from every conference i always get the little tiny bears or like some other little stuffed animal so i have a stuffed animal collection <laughs> from every single place that I have ever gone to conference for. So I'm very excited and very proud of my collection. <laughs> I should probably take pictures of it to show you guys, but uh, I really like this little collection. Well, since we knew that Leah could not be at this conference, we wanted a way to include her and have her there with us. So what we did was uh, Darlene and I came up with this idea hey, let's get one of these little bears and then take a picture with this bear at this like the Ahima sign and at, at going to a, like a class and things like that. One of the conferences and stuff, uh, or it's not conference, but <laughs> it's uh, just like one of the seminars, right? Uh, it, like with the little board and everything, like you could see it in the back. 
take pictures with this thing everywhere and then sign it, sign the little tag on its ear and then send it with Emanuela uh, to take back to Leah so that way she could be a part of this conference. And we made her a swag bag so she got all of the uh, things that we got, uh, she got as well. And even though she didn't, she wasn't able to be there, but we wanted her to be part of it. So that's what we did. <laughs> We we took this little bear, and I believe it was from Just Coding. I believe it was a bear from Just Coding. But um, so we took this bear all over the place. We were taking pictures with the bear. We would have drinks, like the little fruity drinks, like an eyelash on my eye. <laughs> we would get these like fruity drinks because you know they have all kinds of like free things out there, right? So. Um, we had all these little drinks set up and so we would put the bear in between the drinks and like like the bear was drinking a, a soda or something you know <laughs> and we we took it all over the place and people were asking us like what were we doing and we were telling them that we have a friend that couldn't make the uh, conference but we didn't want her to be left out so we have this uh, little bear that is representing for her and we want her to have all of these pictures and so they were like, that is such a cute idea. <laughs> so part of the thing of going to Baltimore is being able to see the sights. Well, uh, Emanuela and I went out. Um, I'm not sure where Darlene was, but she wasn't with us on this little venture. Um, she was somewhere else. I can't remember. But we went and saw like the Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe uh, grave thing that they have out there. And then we saw Johns Hopkins and things like that. So we did that. Uh, we did, we took a lot of pictures with those. Uh, but running around <laughs> and taking all these pictures, we had quite an impressive collection of pictures with this little bear. So, <laughs> and then the final night, you have the final night of conference. Like all the things that you've learned, of course, and all the people that you've met. Um, but you have the final party. So the final party was at the, um, the Ravens stadium, right? So there's all these people, you know, in the stadium and we got to see this like, um, show out on the field. Right. And then you, you could be in like a sports Jersey and stuff. So it was a lot of fun and it was just, I mean, we actually got invited to one of the vendor parties that was before so it was a pre-party before the ahima party which was really nice because it was like we were already <laughs> we were already there when the party got started so uh we were nice and having a good time <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say uh but we again took pictures with this bear so this bear once everybody there at the, the party people they were doing all like the serving and stuff like that for the drinks and stuff uh, once they knew what was going on with this bear, they took the bear and they put it back behind like the bar area. So they took pictures with all of the um, the different bottles and stuff, all lit up with the with the um, with those little shot glasses that have like the lights in them. Which those were like one of the swag gifts as well. So that was such a cool <laughs> uh, little side thing. But one of the other videos that we got. Um, when we're sitting there with this bear, right? Uh, one of the, he was one of the attendees at the conference. He grabbed the bear and started dancing with it. So we totally have that on video and that was hilarious. I was hysterical. <laughs> and my friend Darlene was like, that is so awesome. So she explained to him what the bear was about. Cause they were asking us, you know, like, why do you have this bear? You know, <laughs> but we were saying it's for our friend. So yeah, that, that week went by so fast and it's not even a full week, but it was just, it was just us having a good time and just being there. And the hotel that we stayed at was right down the road. And, um, I forget the name of the hotel, but it was, it was nice. It was, it had a restaurant inside of it. So it was really cool that we could just get up, go have breakfast. And the breakfast was awesome. <laughs> and then they had, of course, the, the bar at night and it was really good too, because they made really good drinks. So <laughs> whenever we would come back from conference, <laughs> we go right over there. So a good time was had by all. Yes. And then 
coming back uh, from conference, I always bring back swag for everybody, like all of my providers and stuff. So um, that particular conference, we were in the new hospital already. So uh, it was nice to be able to come back with all of that swag. And Tina, my office mate at the time, she was like, what did you bring back? What did you bring back? And so I let her have first dibs of the bags that I had brought. And because I literally will come back with bags. Whenever I go to conference, I take one whole empty bag, like a big bag, and then I put a smaller um, roller bag inside that small that inside that bigger bag, because that smaller bag has like my clothes and stuff in it, and the bigger roller bag is, you know, has it has everything in it, right? Um, but it's empty because when I come back from conference, all the swag goes in there. That's literally how much I get when I go to national conference. Yeah, <laughs> you get a lot of stuff and it is good to collect that stuff because whenever I have classes for my providers, I, I bring out the swag bag. So that way at the end, when I'm asking questions, they can go through and pick whatever they want to. They love this thing because they're like, ooh, ooh, I want this, I want this, you know. And so they'll fight over stuff too. <laughs> I've seen doctors fight over this swag stuff, so it is funny to watch, <laughs> but it's good to do because it's just a way to give them an incentive that you didn't have to, you know, think of, you know, <laughs> it was just something that was included in the conference. So I always take advantage of those types of things. So there's lots of things that they give away and sometimes they give away like little cord things, like the little plug-in things to charge up your phone or um charge up like your other little devices whatever you have and sometimes you have earbuds i always stock up on the earbuds every time i see earbuds i love to get the earbuds because you never know like when you need them <laughs> trust me i have gone through those things so many times so many times and all kinds of cool hand sanitizers pens all kinds of goofy little pens sometimes they have like cups and mugs and things and i'll just stick all of that in there and so they can just have at it whenever they get something right. So it gives them, you know, encouragement <laughs> to pay attention during the classes. So an added benefit again. But anyway, that's my story for today. Conferences are a great place to learn and earn continuing education units. And it is also a great place to meet friends and to meet new people and have these experiences that you will have forever. So, but anyway, and I can't wait till the next national conference. Ahima is not doing a national conference this year in 2021. It will still be virtual, uh, but I am very much looking forward to the next time that they have an in-person one because I will be there front and center. <laughs> all right, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope you all enjoy the series. Please catch up on the other episodes you may have missed, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye.